And they're asking us to find the sum. So it's either geometric, telescoping, or Maclaurin. Remember that it will help you narrow things down so much because they're asking us to find the sum. This certainly does not look geometric, nor does it look Maclaurin. It's telescoping. So when we're dealing with the telescoping sum, first we're going to find the nth partial sum. So we're going to rewrite it as the sum i equals 1 to n of tan inverse. We have to switch this to i plus 2. You need a new index of summation minus tan inverse of i. If, if this does not sound familiar, then go watch. I have a whole video dedicated to telescoping series. Okay, I'm going to list out the first few terms till we see a pattern starting with i equals 1. This is going to be tan inverse of 3 minus tan inverse of 1 plus this is going to be now i is 2 tan inverse of 4 minus tan inverse of 2 i is 3 so tan inverse of 5 minus tan inverse of 3 we could do one more for good measure i is 4 so tan inverse of 6 minus tan inverse of 4 and at some point you got to call it because otherwise we'll just expire while listing terms and here's the thing to figure out what cancels and what survives. I plus two and I are two apart. So that means I should have two terms survive or basically not cancel out from the beginning. Okay, so tan inverse of three is canceling out. Tan inverse of four is canceling out. 